All right, this one's uh, this one's pretty different because we have three of the same bases with different operations, right? So in the numerator, if I wanted to put this in parentheses, then I would have a to the power of one fourth, and then I would be adding that uh, negative one half. Uh, but since uh, it's dividing this a to the power of two thirds. It means I'm just going to take that and, well, I would subtract the two thirds right there. Now I did this all at once, right? But you could do it one at a time. For example, like kind of how I started it. If you wanted to just work with the numerator, then you could find that and then divide it by a to the power of two thirds, which would require that subtraction anyways. For this problem, since I have plus and negative right here, I'm just going to make that a minus, which is the opposite of plus. So we need to combine all of these. We will need common denominators, which I'm going to use 12. So I take 4 times 3 and 1 times 3. And that would give me a to the power of 3 twelfths. And then I would subtract. 2 times 6 and 1 times 6, so 6 twelfths, and then minus 3 times 4 and 2 times 4. Give us those common denominators of 12, so and then, then I'd get that 8. So this would equal a to the power. I know I got a denominator of 12, but up here I've got 3 minus 6 and then minus 8. So that's a negative 3 minus 8, which is a negative 11. And this one did say to write this as with only positive exponents. So I'm just going to reciprocate that and make it 1 over a to the power of 11 twelfths. There it is. Yeah, so in this expression, I mean, we could have put parentheses around these. Just to show that it's the numerator on there.